<laughs> and speaking of being, you know, sophisticated, yes, Cameron Fontana is live at the Ohio Theater this morning. Yeah, they're getting ready, I guess, for the nutcracker there and empty house now, Cam. <laughs> I love it. Hey, good morning, wow. guys. We are getting ready. <laughs> Do you, you like my moves? I've been working on my stretching Great. for the Nutcracker because I knew since last year we are going to be coming back here to the Ohio Theater for Ballet Mets, the Nutcracker. It kicks off this Friday. Can you believe it? So this morning on Good Day Columbus, we're going to talk to the artistic director, see how they set the whole room up to get the stage ready for the performances. We're going to talk to Clara and Fritz, the characters that play them. And also, I believe last year, they made me into something kind of funny. Edwin was laughing. This year, they're making me into a Chinese doll. So we're going to throw it back to you guys. We're going to hang out at the Ohio Theater this morning, and I'm going to work on some of more of my ballet moves. I'm going to stretch a little bit higher. Very nice, yeah. Just make sure you you're very stretched out. Straighten the bottom leg, ah, Cameron. That's, yeah. <laughs> Around town, creating the magic of the Nutcracker. Our friend Cameron Fontana is live this morning at the Ohio Theater, where they are getting ready to put on that holiday classic. Hey, Cam. Hey, Pete, you know, this is actually my first time, and Edward's going to come with me. Edward Liang is the artistic director. I've always wanted to walk down the steps, <laughs> and I never have. It's good to see you again, Good to Edward. see you. Happy holidays. You as well. I mean, 38th year for Ballet Mets and Nutcracker. As the artistic director, what makes this production so special? It's, it's a tradition. It's a Columbus favorite. There's um, 165 Academy students a part of it. Wow. There's 16 performances that start on Friday. It's pretty incredible. Talk about the cast because so much goes into this when they're rehearsing. And I know you're the first one as an artist director. You ballet. <laughs> you're sitting there going, nope, do it higher and higher. I mean, how hard do they work? They work incredibly hard. These dancers are um, ambitious and they are hardworking. They love what they do do um they're a part of this community yeah they are you know 16 performances of nutcracker and they're still able to keep it fresh every single performance absolutely and you said 16 performances yeah it starts friday how yes. long does it run it runs until the 27th okay so there's always two um, matinees and an evening performance except for the last weekend on Great. sunday and where can people get their tickets uh, Ticketmaster, or they can go on uh, www.ballymet.org. Perfect. And, and they can also come to Ballet Met. I would just come to Ballet Met and get the tickets. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to throw it back to you guys. Now, what was the favorite move that you like doing? Teaching okay. Them? You want to go uh -huh. Develope Side. Develope Side. There we <laughs> go. Look at that. <laughs> look at, look at. <laughs> Put it back up. Put it back up. Not quite as graceful. It's, oh, you're getting there, there, there though. It's... Oh, crap, crap. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, wow. But you know what? Cameron is really uh, good at other things, right? Uh, Remember him shooting hoops? Mm. He was great. Hockey? He was great. Yeah. You know, ballet. <laughs> it's that made my him. hamstring hurt just watching him. <laughs> All right. Around town this morning, Cameron is getting, <laughs> you know, very acrobatic this morning. He is. He's live with Ballet Met giving us a sneak peek of the Nutcracker. Hey, Cam. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Well, oh, look at this. We are hanging out with a director of production. This is Jamie. How are you doing, Jamie? Good. How are you? Good. Good. What goes into, because we all see the front of house, the stage, and the production, but how long does it take to set everything up? Well, we started loading in yesterday at 8 a.m. Because all of this doesn't stay at the Ohio Theater. No, we were actually in Detroit with this on Sunday. Oh, my gosh. So you were able to transfer it from Detroit to Columbus in the span of two days. Yes. And you can see, how does it work? Because they're setting up something right now. Is that the set piece that stays there and then other pieces slide up? Yes, this is the backing of act two. So this stays in the whole time and then act one is set, is preset in front of it and will fly out afterwards. When do you guys anticipate being finished with it? Um, well, the first rehearsal uh, with dancers is tonight at oh, six o'clock. Nice. Now I do want to show you this way because I love this because it's so gorgeous from the stage. These are fabric. Yes. And if we can get a shot of it from this side, where are these made? Um, this particular one was made in upstate New York. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And then through the year, is it rolled and stored? Uh, um, it's folded. Folded mm -hmm. and stored. And then through the production, it gets rolled right back up or pulled up, I pulled should up. say. Pulled up, yep. How cool. Yep. Well, we're going to throw it back to you guys and talk to some more of the cast members, but I just wanted to give you guys a nice behind-the-scenes shot. Because you never see it behind the scenes, It's true. No, it's true. Hopefully. It's pretty uh, sweet. They are definitely the unsung heroes.
Cam. Absolutely. Wow. They make those productions amazing. Well, around town this morning, Cameron Fontana is sharing a sneak peek at a holiday favorite. Oh, I love this. He is live with the Ballet Met this morning at the Ohio Theater as they share the secrets of the Nutcracker. And you got some competition there, Cam. I know. I'm trying to be Isaac out in the role of Fritz. Is that okay, Isaac? <laughs> yes. He's like, no, you're not going to take my role. These two are two of the stars of the Nutcracker. We're going to talk to them in just a second, but to make sure they are kind of in order, and I do have to excuse, they're making me into the Chinese doll. Okay. So that's why I have marks on my face, if you're noticing that. But this is Daryl, the children's rehearsal director. Correct. What is it like to ha see these kids go through so many rehearsals and improve and put on such a production? That's why I do what I do, because um, it's very special to work with the children over a period of months and then watch them evolve through the process, not only to become better at all of the choreography, yeah. the musicality, but also to develop their characters. And you guys play some pretty cool characters. In fact, you just went to Detroit because you were invited to do the Nutcracker up there. What was that like, Isaac? Um, it was very, it was different because there were a, a lot of new kids, but it was fun to meet other roles. Was it pretty easy to just take the same performance up there? I mean, you've done this with Isaac two years now. Was it a pretty easy transition? Um, yeah, it was pretty easy. The kids were really welcoming and we tried to help them out. So. And yeah. Jillian, how long have you been part of the Nutcracker? Because you weren't always Clara. This is my fifth year. Your fifth year. So when you were younger, did you see the other Clara and be like, I could do that? <laughs> well, yes, I did want yeah. to be Clara. <laughs> what about you, Isaac? You've been in this a long time. Yeah, this is my fifth year. I started when I was seven. When you were seven. What do you want to do next? I mean, do you want to dance? Do, do you want to see yourself in ballet in the Nutcracker? Do you know yet? Um, I don't know. I think I want to, I want to dance, and I also like sports a lot. All right. So people that are watching, tell everybody, Jillian, why should they come out to see the Nutcracker? You should come see the Nutcracker because it's a great holiday tradition, and it's really magical and a lot of fun. All right. If you want to get your tickets, it kicks off this Friday night. You can get it at the Ballet Met website or Ticketmaster or here, but make sure you get your tickets. The seats fill up fast. We're going to throw it back to you guys. Let me see another one of the, let me see the toe tap room. <laughs> I love that thing. That is awesome. I like that. I think you can let me do see it, yours. Cam. You Go totally can. Oh, well, is Cam, <laughs> there it is. Yay. Oh, very, Wow, that was, that was really, really well yeah. done. Also, let's get out to Cameron. He is having fun. He's with Ballet Met, and the big Nutcracker performance is about to take off. Here he is. What, what are you showing us? Your wedding ring. Oh, my god. Hi, Sean. Oh. I'm getting my... <laughs> I'm getting my makeup on with Aaron right here, getting a preview of the Nutcracker. Aaron, who are you making me into? I'm making you into the Chinese doll. The Chinese doll, and then coming up next, do I get to fight a dragon? You sure do. Okay, we're gonna throw it back to you guys. We got to get this makeup going before the next day. How does it look? It I told Edwin, great. is it Tom Selleck? If I go here, it's like a Tom Selleck mustache, and then it transforms. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. it's a stretch, but we're, <laughs> we'll work with you I on can it. See it. A stretch. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. All right. Ballet Mets, the Nutcracker, is undoubtedly one of Columbus's most treasured traditions. And this morning, we're going to give you a little sneak peek. Cameron Fontana is live at Ballet Met this morning with the dragon, apparently. Oh, scary. Oh, my god. That's goodness. right, guys. We're getting a preview <laughs> of this weekend's The Nutcracker here. Oh, look at We choreographed that perfectly. And under the dragon head, in charge of all the makeup. This is Aaron. Hey, Aaron, how are you Not doing? Bad. This, you did this. You did a fantastic job. Thanks. So, what goes into creating the makeup for the production? We can see the dragon behind us, mm -hmm. but for the cast that needs the makeup, yeah. how long does that take? Well, first we have to train everybody. So, if what do you mean train them? Well, we train all the dancers to do their own makeup. No way. Yeah. So I would normally have to be responsible for this. That's right. Oh my goodness. That's right. So after you train them, what happens after that? Well, we'll do <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a training with them early before the production begins, and then we'll be around the first time they do it during tech rehearsal if they're new to the character, so that we can double check what they're doing and make sure everything looks okay from stage, and then it's their job from there on out. Now the dragon who. Makeup is on super awesomeness. <laughs> That's kind of, you told me it's very reminiscent of the ancient Chinese New Year dragon, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. We tried to make it look um, 
exactly like the types of dragons that you see in the festivals that are held for Chinese New Year. Look at that. And normally, I think there's two or three guys in there. How many people are normally in the dragon? Five. Five. So mm -hmm. they have to choreograph when they're moving. Yes. And then they get all slithery like a dragon and everything. Yep. When you think of the makeup, uh, what are some of the keys that you look for? Because it is a stage. You have mm -hmm. people sitting far back. It's not like there's a camera shot. Right. What are some of the things that you have to do with the makeup? Well, especially with a character like this, we have to do high contrast. Okay. Because the further back you go, the less you see. Mm -hmm. And with the brightness of the lights on the face, it actually turns the face into a blank canvas. Ah. So if you're not wearing makeup, your face disappears. You go totally flat. And no expression. And no with expression no words, you need all that expression. Exactly. So we have to add high contrast so that it recreates all of the shadows that are normally on yeah. your face so that people can see what you're doing. Well, Aaron, you did a great job. We're going to throw it back to you. And I got to say, these eyebrows are on fleek. And these are sweet. <laughs> Look it. I can make them go, huh, uh. Look it. Hey, this is a good eyebrow job. You guys like it? Does it look good? Very nice. On fleek. On fleek. You are right. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. <laughs> Belly Men puts on a great show each and every December, and we are showing you a little behind-the-scenes look today. This morning, Cameron Fontana is live at the Ohio Theater, and he's been checking out the Nutcracker. Hey, Cam. Hey guys, we're still at the Ohio Theater getting ready for the Nutcracker kicking off this Friday. And with me is the executive director, Sue. How are you doing, Sue? I am doing great, and thank you so much for being here. You're very welcome, and I'm sorry to do this interview. I mean, it's kind of intense <laughs> to have this makeup just right up in your face like this. But it's so exciting, 38th year now. Uh, what goes into making sure this happens every single year? Well, it's an incredible effort for the entire organization and our community. Um, we've been able to bring this so many years, but it's an effort. Every one of our staff, uh, the dancers, the artistic staff, and the kids, yeah. most importantly. We, they start working in the summer Absolutely. trying to get ready for this. And they work so hard. This is something you cannot miss here in Columbus. So for our viewers, yes. how long is it running? Where can they get tickets? Yes. Well, they get tickets through Ticketmaster. It's really really easy this year. You can go online, you can call them, but Ticketmaster is the best, the best place way. to get them. Um, it opens on Friday night, and we're going to go through the uh, 27th. So, so is it every day through the 27th? It, What's the schedule? It is not. Okay. It is it, generally, there are matinees. Um, we have Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, uh, Wednesdays. So, you know, you go on Ticketmaster, you'll have the whole schedule Great. right there. And then can they find Ballet Met on Facebook as well? Yes, they can. On Facebook, we have our own uh, website as well, BalletMet.org. So there's lots of places Places you can find it and you know, it's such a great community yeah. event to have every year and I know it starts the holidays in our house. It is. So thank you so much for letting us come out here today. We're going to throw it back to you guys. One right, question you. for you. Who's yeah. your favorite character? Oh, Say the Chinese doll. Oh, 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 Say the Chinese doll. Yeah, yeah, the Chinese doll. The Chinese doll. doll. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Cam.